weird american things americans don't know are weird this is going to be a fun video to get into before we do i appreciate if you guys can hit that subscribe button let's jump straight to this and check out these weird things and welcome back to unintentionally frenchified this week i'm tackling some very weird american weird shit. Things. it is not <laughs> until you leave your reality that you realize okay. what you think is actually normal might not be that normal. Right. The reality check for me was moving to Europe. I have done a lot of culture shock videos okay. about moving from the US to France, but this video really focuses on some of the weirdest things in the US that Americans don't even realize are weird. Right. So let's not waste any time and just get to the weird part, but France, Watch out because I have a video planned this month to talk about the weird French things that you don't even realize right, are cool. weird. If you Yo, this is going to be super interesting because this is from an American perspective. Normally watching these videos, I kind of see like people that go and visit America, come back and then tell like talk about weird things they were seeing over there. But we're going to see an American leave America and then talk about, oh, wait, okay, so what I was doing there is, we okay, this is going to be good. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, you know what to do. Her little bit Otherwise, in the description, make sure you check her out. Let's jump right into it. Say party. What we got? Would you give your credit card to a stranger? Would you trust How your no. credit card with someone you didn't know no. when you weren't next to them? Americans do, and they do it pretty regularly. Huh? Based on a study done in 2017, the average American family eats out three times a week. And okay. when you eat out in the States, if it's not a fast food restaurant, you sit down at your table, you eat, the waiter comes, shows you the bill, you decide if you're okay with the price, you know, nothing wrong on the receipt, and then you hand them the receipt back with your credit card and they take the oh. credit card to a machine somewhere in the back room you don't see what's <laughs> going on and then they bring back a slip for you to sign yo to be fair right listen in this situation i would right we, we don't do it in the uk but i've had times where i'm at mcdonald's drive through and my credit card declined so i've had to give them my card and they have to go back to the machine and do it yeah, I might have made jokes like, oh, they're definitely stealing my money, but they're not going to, bro. You know what I mean? Like, you, you will see if they do anything and you know where they work. They're not going to risk that. Say you approved with your credit card. So basically, you don't see what they're doing <laughs> with your credit card for a good five the information. Minutes. Technically, somebody could write down your name, your right. card number, your expiration date, and the three but little crime. code on the back. They could write everything down and have a fun little shopping journey on Amazon that same <laughs> day. By the way, this recently happened to my mother. Hey, I what? used to think that this was completely normal, guys. Giving your credit card away to somebody not seeing it. Oh, wait, that happened? How else would it work to pay a bill? And then I got to Europe and I realized that the machines to run your credit card are small and transportable. So people come to your table with the machine and you- Oh, you don't have that in America? So yeah, when, when I'm getting the bill and I say, can I pay card? They bring like a small machine out and it's portable and they can take it with them and you just pay on your card there at the table. Or the one who puts your credit card in the machine oh, wow. and taps a little code or signs. And nobody, nobody ever takes your credit card but you. Even oh, wow. in like the most safest countries in Europe, I have never been asked to take my credit card out of my own site this just doesn't happen people don't trust other people with their money yo wait so how many of you guys have gave you credit cards to someone and you've actually noticed that money's gone does like does that happen more often than i thought i thought no one would do it because it's a crime and you can basically know where they are like you, you, you know who served you you know who what what restaurant you went to right so and we know. shouldn't either in the u.s this is so bizarre okay tv ads right. in the u.s are the worst like seriously the worst there are so many ads it is TV so adverts. exhausting thank the lord for streaming which still has quite a bit of ads <laughs> but at least is a little bit better right? right so this isn't really about general ads but let's get even more specific and let's talk about medical ads oh. did you ever think it was really strange those ads where you have like a grandfather and he's playing in the yard with his grandkids. Right. And his wife is watching lovingly with some handmade lemonade. And then all of a sudden this very creepy voice in the background says, Danny is living his best life because he's taken shawada water and 
Shuwarawara has made his life better. And you too should ask your doctor to take Shuwarawara. And then as Danny's swinging his grandkids in the air, you hear the creepy voice say, and please don't take Shuwarawara. If you have a heart disease, it will kill you. If you have blue eyes, it will kill you. If your second toe is longer than your first toe, it will kill you. Wait, is this an actual advert you guys have in America? I, we don't have any medical adverts. I ain't gonna lie, bro. This, this is weird. You will become depressed. You will suffer. You will die. When I lived in the they US, I just thought they were kind of weird how they would go from like lighthearted, beautiful, corny, like ad to all of a sudden very dark and depressing and, and negative. Wait, 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 your medical adverts, they genuinely say in the advert like you will die, like take this or you will die. They can do that. <laughs> and now that I live somewhere else where these type of advertisements are literally illegal, not only do I still think that the way that they go from lighthearted to dark is right. very weird, I also just think the ads in general are very weird. Right. I mean, should we be shoving medical ads in people's faces all the time? Should we be making the health industry a total cash machine? Yeah, you know what? I actually agree. I prefer not having our medical situation be so competitive, competitive like what she's saying with the cash, right? Where there's adverts everywhere, they're competing with each other to get the money. But we, we, in the UK, the only medicine you're going to be taking is like recommended medicine. So like from like, if it's like just simple medicine, like paracetamol, right? You can get it off the shelf yourself. So, you know, there's not that many brands. It's recommended by people. And then if you're getting the harder medicine, like the stronger stuff, which you guys might have some crazy adverts for, we would get recommended from our doctors, right? And get prescribed it. So, yeah. I'd find it very weird if there's like multiple brands and who's got the better advert. Cause you, know, you, you don't know if it's the better, you know, medicine. Shouldn't my doctor who did years and years right. and years of studies be the one telling me what medicine I should be taking instead of me telling them what medicine I want to take? Especially the medicine works? that has like 50,000 side effects that are most likely going to kill me, all of them at once. <laughs> very weird, America. All right, you cannot grow up in the US and not have a bit of sports culture. Okay. You don't necessarily sure. have to love sports, but sports is a massive entertainment right. in the US. So it's not just the actual sporting Everywhere. event. It's the cheerleaders, it's the music, it's the mascot, it's the drinks, it's oh, the you food, guys do it it's big. everything, right? So even if you don't come from a family that loves sports, or you're not that into sports, you've probably been to a game or two. Like This is what I love about America, right? It doesn't necessarily mean you have to love that sport, but you can still enjoy it by going from what I've seen, bro. You got good food, good atmosphere. You know what I mean? Drinks there, entertainment there. Bro, you have halftime shows for the... You know what I'm saying? Like, you got a lot of stuff to be entertained by and to enjoy. If you're not really into the sport. Like a lot of sports, baseball in the US has a world championship, a world series. Okay. Up until now, all of this is pretty normal because when you think of world championships, you've got lots of sports. I mean, you've got the World Cup in soccer, you've got the world championships of rugby, or you've right. got like the worlds in gymnastics. I mean, most sports have a world, world championship. Yeah. So the World Series in baseball doesn't seem very weird until you leave the US and you realize that the World Series a baseball doesn't actually include the world. Now I've had quite a few number of discussions with some non-Americans about this because people outside of the US- I've actually heard of this. I've actually heard of this. I swear the only other team in this, in this world series of baseball, isn't it like a team from Canada? I find this notion very <laughs> bizarre. So I know some of you in the comments will say that this series was named after a New York newspaper. And so oh, that's really? why it got its name that way. And so it's not that big of a deal. Right. But that's like a hundred years now. At some point, I feel like we could change the very misleading name if we really <laughs> wanted to. Or some people say that we draft players from around the world. And so therefore, even if the team oh, Okay. Come from America and Canada. There's still international players. Right, sure. But I don't think any other world championship works that way no. specifically. And there's lots of examples in other sports. I mean, you take soccer in other countries and it's very international between the different leagues in each country. But could any team from any country 
join America's World Baseball Series if they wanted to. Maybe the rest of the world just sucks at baseball and he can't get in. They recruit international players to play in the French League. But then when they win the French League, they call them winners of the French League, not winners of the world, even though right. they're international players. Right. So I'm not sure that that's the strongest argument either. Americans get such a bad rap for our we're number one, we're champions of the world <laughs> attitude sometimes. And I just don't think that tournaments like these that aren't necessarily including the rest of the world but make world champions are helping <laughs> our favor for these so i am much a lobbyist for trying to change the name of that right tournament. sure this politics has been kind of whack in the adam what do you guys feel about that because i know there's a lot of baseball fans that watch these videos right do you guys uh do you guys like the name being world series or do you want to change to something else personally it to me it don't really matter that much you know what i'm saying like people that's going to be watching the series they're going to watch it regardless you know the name isn't i don't think it's upsetting anyone <laughs> us lately but politics was already kind of nuts before 2016 right. and i actually did a video this election year about the differences in the presidential elections in the us and france so if that interests you check out that video i'm not good but at politics said, before 2016 there were still weird Sorry. things going on so for example in the us we have the left wing and the right wing okay. the right tends to be more conservative they defend things like pro life or anti immigration Immigration, and they tend to support things, keeping things the way that they are. And the left tends to push for more progressive policies. Think free education or right. free healthcare, etc. Now, having I'm, a left wing and a yo, right this is how much I don't really like get politics, bro. That, honestly, what she just said, I've already is gone through my head. I, I'm already lost. Left wing or right wing? The only time I see left wing or right wing is like when some of you guys, not not. Not all of you guys, it's only a few, but I've seen a few comments on videos where like, ah, oh, this is a right win propaganda video. And I'm like, bro, I'm watching a video about planting trees. <laughs> but yeah, listen, listen, I'm sorry. When it comes to politics, I don't really know, man. You know what I mean? I'm just here for some entertainment and learning. You know what I'm saying? So. Right wing is all fine and dandy and not very weird compared to anybody else. But right. once you move to Europe, you start questioning what the left and right are mm. really fighting for in the US because most of those policies are just basic human rights in a majority of all the other OECD countries. Take okay. France, for example, because I live there. The right wing wouldn't even dream of trying to override universal health care or free education because those are things that are basic human rights for citizens in France and everyone should have access to education and everybody should have access to medical care if they're sick. So right. the right wing will tend to defend things like getting rid of inheritance taxes so that they can make more money or the left will tend to support things like taking power away from the landlords and upping their retirement funds. These are the kind of issues that they start to really debate about. And in the US, when people are saying that, for example, Joe Biden is a radical left president, it's really weird because in Europe, for example, he would be right wing. In France, he would be conservative. Uh, I mean, if you want left wing, you'd really need to get like Bernie Sanders up there with his mittens or- Wait, why is that weird though? Like, I, sw like, I, I said I don't understand politics and I don't. But like, I, I, I get the fact that there's two sides competing with different opinions. So how is that weird to any other European country? Like in the UK, we have Labour, Conservatives, and some other, I don't even know, bro. There's quite a few, but they all have the different opinions and whatever that we want to fight for. That's like left and right. Well, I, I, I don't know, bro. I don't know or someone even more left than him. In France, in the last presidential election, the most left party left was an anti-capitalist party, you know? So like very left. So just not at all the same things that we debate about in the US. I saw a really great TikTok that went okay. viral from a girl in Germany who did this comparison between political parties in Germany and in the US. So I'll put that link below. You should definitely check it out at this point, especially interests you. It's pretty mind blowing and it makes you go, uh, America? 
Are we like a hundred years behind everyone else? Can you drive down an American street without seeing- Yeah, I have no clue, bro. I have no clue. Maybe someone's gonna explain what she was saying about politics. I, 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 don't, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I don't know if any of you guys are the same with me. I know there's quite a few of you guys that are really into politics. But when I just start hearing about politics, it just like, I just can't like, I can't like grab onto the words, you know what I mean? It's like they're slippery words, bro. They're slipping around in my brain. But yeah, interesting. Um, the only time that I really like enjoy politics is like the entertaining highlight clips. I know, you know, when like you see Biden fall over or can't talk or, you know, just funny situations that are entertaining. Like, like I said, I'm here for entertainment, bro. <laughs> Red, white and blue flags flying everywhere. Oh, In yeah. the Midwest, where I'm from, it is pretty hard not to. Americans really? tend to grow up with flags surrounding them everywhere. We don't and see I'm not just talking flags on state buildings. I see flags on houses. I see them on cars. Wow. I see them on people. I see them on clothes. Hello, Old Navy, anyone. <laughs> I see them on pets. I mean, flags are everywhere. America the proud. We've been pledged allegiance to the flag my entire time growing up in school. I think- Oh yeah, I learned about this, bro. Okay, this I found, I, I, as someone from not America, this I find weird. Do you pledge, like in school, growing up, you pledge allegiance to the flag, you know what I'm saying? Bro, that sounds like very like, uh, to me it sounds like very uh, like medieval times. Like get your knights, get 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 your shield and your sword before battle, bro. I think now, depending on where you go to school, this isn't necessarily something that you have to do, but still, there are flags everywhere. And then after moving to Europe, I realized that flags here only yeah, fly do, from. Wait, wait, wait. Do they still pledge allegiance? Like, do you guys still pledge allegiance to schools now? Schools and government buildings. I have never once in France seen someone drive down the street and have like a little flag waving right. behind the car or imagine like a moped in Paris, like zipping around Paris with a tiny little French flag or something like, no. Nah. The French and- Yeah, it don't happen in the UK either. The only time you see like the English flag is during sport tournaments at like the World Cup and stuff. That's the only time you see England's flag. But other than that, bro, yeah, you ain't gonna see it, man. A lot of other European countries don't see flying flags yeah, as a sign of patriotism. They see flying flags as a sign of nationalism. And while I still love me a good old American flag flying in the wind, when you start realizing that people link loving your country with flying an obsessive amount of flags, you start wondering if that's not representative of loving the US or just a little bit weird. All right, guys, I did my no, five. I that's a wrap cool. for today. I can't hate wait to hear in the comments below what you guys thought if you think there's interested. some that i left out if yeah very interesting video no i actually like the fact that you guys are very patriotic and stuff like that that's pretty cool because i feel like you guys unite more as a country i don't know but yeah very interesting video let me know in the comment section what you guys are thinking if you guys did enjoy make sure to leave a thumbs up subscribe for more content i'm live every single day on twitch.tv forward slash l3wg if you guys want to check me out over there i'll see you on the next one peace